first time visiting. Nice to meet you. My name is Karen Campbell and I'm a mixed meter artist who is a little obsessed with drawing. I just love drawing. Today I am gleaning all sorts of mad inspiration from the amazing Kevin Kale artist extraordinaire who you can find on Pinterest and Instagram and I am having him inform this crazy hair drawing that I am doing so my hats off to him this is not an original idea so I don't make sure everybody knows where I'm getting my inspiration from today if you would like the full length real-time stroke by stroke tutorial you can join me in my drawing club at awesomeartschool.com in the fun fab drawing club without further ado let's go for the record this project was super hard for me. Now he makes it look so easy when he draws these crazy girls with their amazing hair, but like actually trying to come up with your like own undulation of directions and curls and things going over and things going under and what's shaded and what's highlight was really much harder than I thought. So I'm glad I captured this all in real time. Oh, Tilly. That's my cat Tilly. She comes for lots of scratches and I wish you guys could hear her purr because her purr is unbelievable. Look, when they just sit their bum on your project. Yep, excuse me. Oh, there we go. Anyways, there is the full time um, version of this on my on my website and I'm so happy that it's there because again, like trying to capture all of those curves was super challenging. So I took two of the reference pictures from Kevin Keel and I kind of mashed them together. Um, I don't know if I'm like smart enough or good enough or talented enough to come up with my own waves of hair. You'd think it would not be hard and just some swirls and you were good to go, but it gets really complicated and it's like a ribbon turning around and around, like a multifaceted ribbon. So I really had to use um, these drawings for references to figure out like where the heck I was going. And I did get lost quite a few times, but What's cool about the, having the full-time version at Awesome Art School is that I actually took pictures along the way too. So if you wanna like actually go and print those out and have them for references along your way as you're drawing, then I think that helps greatly. If, you, if you're trying to draw this, um, it just helps to have those reference photos at different points. Um, you can trace them. You know, you can just <laughs> get help, really. I'm trying to give you some help because I didn't have any and it was super hard. So I really did have to take my time and like figure out what the heck was going on, where each ribbon was turning and what was on top and what was underneath so I could help to put the shading and the highlights in the right places so that it would read correctly, right? Um, cool thing too about this month's lesson for the Fun Fab Drawing Club is I actually have a beginner lesson too that comes before this one. So if this is way over your head, I, you can back it up and watch the lesson before, which is all about uh, using and drawing tone paper and how to draw with um, whites and blacks on tone paper to make like a really cool striking look. So anyways, I had a lot of fun. I really challenged myself. I can't wait to bring this to my students. Um, and I hope you enjoy just watching the process here on YouTube. It took me quite a while. It took me probably maybe an hour and a half to do this all told. And it's funny what you can, you know, makes look so easy when it's in a, like a little four minute YouTube video, but this was a lot of work. Hats off and huge thanks to artist Kevin Keel for um, giving me the inspiration for this month's project over at Awesome Art School and had a blast. If you're new to drawing on tone paper, you can check out this playlist. It's about 10 videos or less on um, some of my favorite tone paper projects. So enjoy, see you next week. Subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every single Friday. Thanks guys.